Hello friends, how are you? My name is Arun. Today I am going to discuss about uh, you know selection sort. In the previous video, I have already discussed about bubble sort. Okay. In this video, I am going to discuss about selection sort. So let me uh, let me explain how selection sort internally works. And uh, let me take few elements, friends. So I am taking some n equal to n means number of elements i am taking seven elements friends so what are the elements we can take any number of uh, any elements you can take it but i am taking you know 10 say 25 and uh, 8 say 5 4 3 1 so in which order the elements are friends in a random order it's not in ascending or it's not in descending order so i want to by using selection sort i want to arrange the elements in a particular order so in this one i am going to arrange the elements in a ascending order so let me array, uh, let me take one array friends and in this one please let me take these values also so what are the values i am uh, going to take so 10 say 25 and 8 5 four, sorry 4 say 3 and 1 friend and please take uh, indexes as well array index is starting from 0 onwards so i am taking 0 say 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 friends so one index is 6 friend now what is the logic uh, i am going to implement so what is the logic selection sort will use very simple friends first what will be happened is each and every time they will pick uh, it will pick minimum value from the selection in the first iteration it will it will take uh, first minimum value in the second iteration, second minimum value in the third iteration, third minimum value, fourth iteration, fourth minimum value. So, this is the in this way it will work. Print. So, how we will pick minimum value? Let us see. So, I am assuming that I am taking one variable integer minimum. So, I am I am assuming that in the first iteration, I am assuming that a of 0 is the minimum value. So, what is the a of 0? 10 friends. So, you have to take position of 10 as well. What is the position of 10 friends? 0 position okay now what i will do i will compare this 10 with 25 okay uh, so what we, i mean i will compare this 10 with 25 condition true or false friends false because 10 is the minimum value so no need to check so 10 is the minimum value then again what will be happen i will compare this 10 with 8 friends one minute so which one is uh, 10 is 10 is greater than it true or false true what is the meaning of true 10 is not the 10 is not a minimum value one more minimum value is there that is 8 so then you have to uh, replace this 10 with 8 and uh, please update position also oh, which position we have to update it friends 8th position what is the 8th position 2 friends so please update the position as well that means replace this 0 with 2 then what will be happen again you have to compare this 8 8 with 5 so 8 is greater than 5 so 5, 5 is the minimum value so you have to replace this 5 8 with 5 then again what will be happen you have to update position also so what is the position friends what is the position of the 5 3 here and again then again what will be happen I'll compare this 5 with uh, 4 friends. 5 is greater than 4. So what is the minimum value? 4 is the minimum value. So please replace this 5 with uh, 4. And what is the position of the 4? 4. So there is a reason I am updating this position as well. What is the position? 4 friends. So again, you have to update. Sorry, you have to compare 4 with uh, 3 friends. 4 is greater than 3. So 3 is minimum value. So you have to replace this 4 with this uh, replace 4 with 3 friends and uh, update position as well. What is the position of the 3 friends? Like 5. So take this 5 friends. And one more value is there. What is that friends? 6. I mean 1. We have to compare this 3 with 1. What is the minimum value? 1 or 3? 1 is the minimum value. So please replace this 3 with this. Please replace this 3 with 1 friends. And what is the position of the 
one, not five friends. This is six. So take six as well, friends. Okay. So first iteration is completed, friends. So what we, uh, I mean, what we understood by this one. So we end up this iteration. We came to know that ten is not. So ten is not a minimum value. One is the minimum value. So then what will be happen by using this position? And we have to swap this at ten and one. So that means in ten, uh, in in place of ten, one will come, and in place of one, ten will come. Okay. We have to replace ten with one and one with ten friends. Okay. And uh, in this way, what will be happen? You have to then let me arrange the values friends first. Then in the second iteration, what will be happen? I'll show you. Let me arrange the values, friends. Here, let me take one array here. So you have to replace ten with one because one is the minimum value. In the first iteration, we got first minimum value. Then what will be happen? Twenty five. Then eight. So five, four, three. In place of one, what will be happen? Ten will come. Okay. And the second iteration, what will be happen? I'll take like this, friends. So integer. Minimum equal to y of one. Second iteration, right? One. So y of one. What is the value of y of one? Twenty-five, friends. So what is the position here? What is the position of the twenty-five? One, friends. So I am assuming that twenty-five is the minimum value. Then you have to compare this twenty-five with an eight. So twenty-five is not a minimum value. So you have to take eight, and you have to compare this eight with the five. Then what will be happened? Eight is not a minimum value. Five is the minimum value. Then again you have to compare this five with four. Then what will be happened? Five is not minimum value. Four is the minimum value. Then again you have to check with you have to compare this four with three friends. Then what will be happened? Three is the minimum value. Four is not minimum value. So initially I have taken say twenty five is the minimum value. But later I came to know that three is the minimum value. Three is the minimum value. So you have to replace this three with twenty five and twenty five with three friends. You have to swap them. So what is the? Let me rearrange the elements, friends. In the second iteration, what will be happen? Let me take one array here, and let me arrange the elements as well. So one also it will come in place of twenty five. What will be happen? Three will come. Then what will be happen? Eight friends, five, four. In place of three, twenty-five will come and ten friends. Then what will be happen? In third iteration, integer say minimum equal to y of two. In y of two means what is that friends? Eight will come. So eight, I will compare eight with five. So five is the minimum value. Then I will compare five with four. Four is the minimum value. Then I will compare four with twenty-five. Four is the minimum value. Again I will compare four with ten friends. Four is the minimum value. So I am assuming that initially eight is the minimum value, but I came to know that four is the minimum value. So we have to replace eight with four and four with eight friends. So then let me arrange the values, friends. Uh, let me take one array and uh, let me take values as well. We have to take one friends, three, not eight. We'll we'll get four, and after that five and eight, then twenty-five and ten friends. So next iteration, what will be happen? Now integer minimum equal to I'll take five as the uh, you know minimum element. I mean five as the minimum element, and uh, position also I'll take. So integer. Say position is equal to what is the position friend zero one two three friends okay then I'll I'll compare five with eight so what is the minimum value five only minimum value then I'll compare five with twenty five five is the minimum value so then I'll compare five with ten five is the minimum value so no need to change the position is correct only friends so next time what will be happened I'll 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 assume eight is the minimum value then I'll compare eight with twenty five. No need to change because eight is the minimum value. Then I'll compare eight with ten. Then what will be happen? Eight is the minimum value, so eight is in the correct position. Then what will be happen here? Next iteration, I'll take twenty-five and ten friends. So I'm, I'm, I will assume that I'm assuming that twenty-five is the minimum value, but I'll check with the ten also. So twenty-five and ten. What is the minimum value? Ten is the minimum value. 
so you have to replace you have to swap 25 and 10 friends that means you have to replace 25 with 10 and 10 with 25 so let me rearrange let me arrange the values friends once again here friends say one minute let me write the elements as well so one three four so five eight and ten and twenty five friends and friends you know i, uh, I mean uh, first iteration only i explained very uh, in detail and the second time onwards i did not explain in detail because it will get bored it, you will uh, you will you will feel bored friends and if you want you know more explanation please let me know in the comment section definitely each and every iteration i'll explain very in detail okay friends and if you see her final iteration elements all elements are got sorted here one three four five eight ten twenty five friends so let me implement the logic friends very simple friends so already i have taken one class name of the class is selection and uh, i have taken one main method as well and i created one object for scanner class to get the elements from the keyboard and uh, i am trying to display one message on the screen and i am getting n value what is the meaning of n value n is a number of elements so user wants how many values to sort then i am trying to take one array to show the list of values so integer a equal to new integer how many values n values friends so when array has been created we have to read the values right so that's the reason i am taking one sop here and i am trying to display one message on the screen so what is that enter array elements and uh, i am taking one for loop friends why because uh, i am not reading a single value i am trying to read a group of values so set of values so integer i equal to zero array index starting from zero onwards i less than n and uh, i plus plus so a of i equal to sc dot next int so i think i hope till here you i mean you understood i think i hope uh, everyone understood till now so our actual logic will begin from here onwards friends so what i am doing i am taking one for loop friends and i am taking one for loop in this one what i am doing is integer j equal to zero and uh, j is less than or equal to say n minus two i am taking friends i'll i'll explain friends why i am taking n minus two instead of n minus one and uh, j plus plus here what i am doing is i am taking one more for loop friends uh, before that what i am doing integer minimum equal to a of j i am thinking that a of j that means a of j, for first iteration a of zero is the minimum value in the second iteration a of one is the minimum value in the third iteration a of two is the minimum value like that i am assuming after that i am taking position as well what is the position of a of j j friends and uh, let me take one more for loop why i am taking one more for loop we have to compare this minimum with the remaining elements so that's the reason i am taking one for loop friends here i am taking integer i equal to say j plus one i am taking why friends already minimum equal to a of j we have to compare this minimum with a of j plus one but not a of j that's the reason i am taking a of j plus one friends and what is the condition i am taking here i less than or equal to say n minus one and i plus 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 here you have to check minimum i am assuming that a of, j, a of j is the minimum value but i am checking this minimum with remaining elements if any minimum value is there other than a of j so that is the, that is the reason i am taking minimum is greater than say a of i friends okay if yes then what i need to do we have to replace this minimum with a of i so initially i am, I am assuming that a of j is the minimum value but later i came to know that i found one more new minimum value so i am updating the old uh, i mean new minimum value i mean old minimum value with the new minimum value and i am taking the position as well what is the a of i position i friends and that's it friends and come out from this one uh, and we have to swap friends so how to swap it and come out this for loop as well and uh, come here here we have to take one temporary variable and uh, first we have to take into a of j 
i am storing a of j value into temporary variable now i am taking a of j equal to a of position friends now what i am doing is a of position equal to temporary friends so if we have any doubts i'll explain once again friends here so this logic so here initially i am taking 10 is the minimum value and what is the position friends zero friends here later i came to know that one is the minimum value one is the minimum value and position of uh, one is six friends so what i am doing i am swapping 10 and 1 so that is the reason what i am doing temporary is equal to a of j what is the meaning of a of j friends so one is the i mean sorry 10 is the a of j value so then i am storing temporary equal to 10 a of j equal to position means this one friends i am storing minimum value so i am placing in place of 10 i am taking one friends now we have to place this 10 into one right so that is the reason i am taking a position is equal to temporary friends uh, that's it friends uh, not more than anything let me print the values whether this logic is working fine or not for this one i am taking one for each loop here i am taking integer x and uh, array is available in a system dot out dot print ln and uh, x value friends friends if you did not understand or uh, if you have any concerns please let me know in the comment section and once again i'll explain friends let me execute this one so what are the values seven values i am going to take what are the seven values friends initially i am taking what is it yeah 10 i am taking say 25 then uh, 8 5 4 3 1 what would be the output friends 1 3 4 5 8 10 10 i mean 8 10 25 friends so in this way uh, selection sort will work in this way we can sort the elements as well uh, that's it friends and still if you are having any questions please let me know in the comment section definitely i'll make a separate video on that and uh, i'll i'll solve your doubts friends i'll clear your doubts friends uh, that's it friends thanks a lot thanks a lot for watching my video